Just hear the sleigh bells ringing and ting, 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 a ring too. You know it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. In the middle of fucking July. Technically it's only June, but it's about to be July. <laughs> we should keep that. <laughs> If we don't put that in the front, we're putting that in the back. <laughs> Thank you. My lovely assistant, everyone. A musical genius. Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves, and welcome to another edition of our brand new series, Frock Talk with Tyler Willis, this time with a very special piece, which matches nothing else I own, and is the redheaded stepchild of my wardrobe, classic fairy tales. So let's go grab that. So, whoa, Jesus. Sorry, the horde doesn't like to let one of their own go. So in case the opening was too subtle for you, we're doing a Christmas in July theme. And here is classic fairy tales. Now, mind you, classic fairy tales actually is not a Christmas print. It is a <laughs> egregious couch amalgamation of details that do not get any kind of justice for being shown on a camera on your tiny cell phone, cell phone screen. But I assure you, against all, all words to the contrary, it is gorgeous. And it is the most Christmassy dress you will ever find, even though I have a Christmassy dress, I have a specific Christmas themed dress by Baby the Stars Shine Bright. It does not hold a fracking candle to this dress and I will show you images of my wearing it to prove it. But this dress and the story of my getting this dress is kind of odd because I don't know if you've noticed, but it, it's not exactly on theme. <laughs> doesn't exactly match anything else I own, and that is why it goes to the corner of shame. But this dress deserves better than that. It's not gonna get better than that because it would totally throw off the feng shui I've got going on here, but it deserves better because it is truly gorgeous. The fabric is heavy. The maroons or burgundies are just gorgeously saturated, so pretty, and there's so much to this print that you would never know unless you owned it or saw really close detail shots, which will be included without my nattering away. But there's just so much to take in in this print beyond the adorable little bunny rabbit and the little fawn and the little fox. Oh God, there's little squirrels on it. I forgot about the squirrels. Sorry, Lore, just like tune out now, it'll be fine. But like, they're so gorgeous. It's just got keys and the keys have little bucks heads on the top of them. And there's roses and inlay little APs and really fancy lettering. And it's just adorable. I mean, I love the lacing on the front and I love the little bow. And I know it's got this woodland look to it, which wouldn't make you think Christmas, but when you add together this deep green, this forest green and these deep burgundies, and you put it against a Christmas backdrop, it is just amazing. Like it is, you can't beat this dress for Christmas themes. And there's little birds on the lace. Oh God, it's gorgeous. There's little pine cones and little berries and the little deer and bunny and fox are in their own little forest scene. And there's grapes and oh God, this one doesn't inspire as much just like erratic joy. It's more just this kind of awestruck appreciation for all the details that went into this dress. And it is so different from Angelic Pretty's releases. I mean, it's what, from what you expect of Angelic Pretty, I mean, yeah, sometimes they do mushrooms. You can tell in their design process, but you don't expect there to be mushrooms on their print. Like that's something I would expect from like Lily of the Valley. Like she makes gorgeous prints. This is more up her alley, but Angelic Pretty really stretched out of their comfort zone with this one. And they made something truly just breathtaking. It is just amazing. And it's just, it's got this kind of elegant cuteness to it that you just don't see in most angelic pretty. They, they make really hyper cute, like crazy space dresses in comparison. And this is just so subdued. I mean, as opposed to something like Milky Planet, it's just gorgeous. Little berries, intricate, intricate design on this. So much like 
carefully wrought gold flourishes. You got the little squirrels everywhere, the wintry scene with the snow encrusted pine cones, and yet, and yet mushrooms. So maybe seasonally, it's not very seasonally consistent, but I mean, we're doing Christmas in July, so fight me. You know, it's just gorgeous. I love everything about this dress and it took me so long. I could have missed this. I could have completely missed this entirely. It took me so long to decide if I wanted this dress because newsflash, it was not popular. It was, I know, surprise, right? An utter cluster frock wasn't popular. A like forest green cluster frock from Angelic Pretty wasn't popular? No. But seriously, it wasn't popular. Like I'm pretty sure this series went on sale. But I think it was because their stock images were terrible. They were awful. They were honestly amongst the worst stock images I'd seen. And it's because you cannot capture the true gorgeousness of this dress in some tiny stock photo. And their detail shots were questionable at best. It was again another, another instance where I had to go and look for images elsewhere to get the, the true detail shots. And what I saw just blew me away. Even the waist ties. I mean, it's got this little deer with two little squirrels and it's just so pretty. And it's just this kind of quiet elegance. And I know this dress is, you know, loud enough to be a foghorn, but there's just something pretty and still that reminds you of the crispness of winter when you're right on the verge of spring, but things are still things are still cold. There's that little snap, you know, right before the snowfall and you can kind of feel it in the air and it, there's a little bite to the breath, you know, and it's, that's just what this reminds me of. And I, I love it as a Christmas print because of this gorgeous contrast between the burgundy and the deep forest green. And it is just the most gorgeous piece that I will ever hide in a corner of shame in my closet. And I love it to death. And I will include detail shots for you to fully appreciate it and hopefully win some of you over who still think it's a cluster frock, even though it is. And I just, I don't know. What can you say about something so pretty and yet so completely unlike anything else that I own in here? <laughs> some would say just shove it in a corner. That's probably what some people are saying. But it's beautiful and I love it. And I will put the year it was released. I think it was released the year before last or something like that. I completely forgot to look it up because I was just so taken with the design. It's just, it's just gorgeous. So one more shot of classic fairy tales. My favorite Christmas dress that I do believe was also released in July. I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. Let's fix that lace. It's driving me nuts. So classic fairy tales, everyone. A gorgeous piece, the best cluster frock ever to grace my Christmas, my Christmas aesthetic, aesthetic, the best cluster frock to ever grace my Christmas aesthetic. I had a series, I had a series of small strokes. Thank you. It's gorgeous and I love it. So I guess we'll put it away. We'll get to those detail shots. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you for watching Scarfing Scarves. This has been Tyler. And before you go watch some other thing that probably makes more sense than our brand new series, Frock Talk with Tyler Willis. Had to say that name one more time in case you had a stroke last time. I'd like to thank my patrons for making this recent, you know, uptick in content possible. You guys are utterly responsible for our new series like Frock Talk and the Snap series. I am fracking digging it. I have no time to do anything else, but I love it. <laughs> I'm just going to chug coffee until I reboot. It's going to be great. And if you would like to join their number, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews where you can find videos the public hasn't seen yet. Patrons are now getting them a week in advance, as well as ask questions, suggest new video content, and or watch me crumble as a person. So thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.